Today, I want to talk about making enemies. We talk a lot about visions, about the need for companies to find who they are and get their employees aligned around that vision. But it's almost as important to think about what you're against, to think about who your enemy is. And no, I'm not talking about going out and attacking your competitors. It's not about that at all. It's about finding situations that are negatives for your prospects and customers and working to eliminate those. For instance, I was on LinkedIn the other day and I saw a post from a CEO who was very against multi-touch attribution. Now, this video is not about the pros and cons of multi-touch attribution, and it's not my enemy, but I kind of admired him because he saw a situation that he thought was a negative for companies, which is using multi-touch attribution to measure marketing performance, and wanted to speak out against it because he thought it was harming those companies. And let me share with you a more famous example, and that's Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce, and his end of software campaign. He started this campaign back in the early 2000s, right when Salesforce was getting started. And the idea behind it was stage rallies, stage protests, with all complete with protest signs, protest chants. He would go to com uh, competitors' conventions and actually get in cabs with prospects and talk to them about why they needed to end installed software. And the reason why he was against it is because he viewed it as very expensive, complex, and challenging for these companies to implement installed software. There's four good reasons to define who your enemy is, what you're against. The first thing is it really shows that you care about your customers. Benioff truly believed that installed software was a negative for these companies, and so he wanted to provide an alternative. Installed software was complex and expensive and not very flexible, and so the companies weren't maximizing their value from their investment. And so he was able to provide an alternative and he wanted to show why that was a negative. The second thing is it helps define your brand. Remember, when he launched this campaign, it was in the early 2000s before anyone was talking about SaaS. And so he, by defining that he was against installed software, helped define the Salesforce brand as software in the cloud. And now, think about today, there's really almost no brand that says closely aligned with the idea of SaaS as Salesforce. The third thing that it does is it helps align your company. People can rally the idea of being against something. And finally, the fourth thing to find the enemy is it helps you identify opportunities. Who could Salesforce sell to? Anyone who has one of these installed software solutions. And so that's a, that's a point that allows you to quickly identify what your opportunity is, who you can sell to. So you can see the benefits of defining the enemy was for Salesforce. It really made an impact on their growth. That campaign generated a lot of media attention, but it also helped unify the company around this idea that they're ending software. In fact, there are even articles today written about the end of software campaign. So this really made me think about what I'm against. And I could say, I really hate it that companies fail good companies, good products, good people fail because they can't market effect effectively. I hate to see that poor marketing or no marketing is causing these companies not to succeed. In fact, I read a study the other day and it was showing the huge percentage of companies that fail because they fail to grow. They don't know how to grow their businesses even if they do offer a good product. The other thing that I really don't like is when companies are taken advantage of by agencies or consultancies. And so they're wasting money on things that aren't necessarily to their benefit. Now, this isn't always malicious, but I am absolutely against the idea that these companies need to be investing money in some of these marketing tactics that are never gonna lead to growth. So those are the two things I'm against. I hate to see companies fail because they don't know how to market effectively. And I hate to see companies waste money on marketing tactics that are just not gonna be effective.